What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 jailbreak tweaks and themes of the week. So I did want to throw in a couple of themes in this video just because I think some were released that are worth mentioning. So we're going to be doing that, and I'm going to be going over these tweaks and themes pretty quickly just so I can get through it so you guys don't have to, you know, painfully go through every single step, every single setting, you know, just to get everything set up. I'm just going to hit the highlights for you guys. So first thing I want to talk about is Amory. That is the theme that I'm using right here. Now, what this theme reminds me of is a little bit of Iris, a little bit of Soft for iOS 8. So it's kind of a mix between those two. There's uh, a whole lot of icons that are themed in this theme, and that's something that I look for almost the very first thing. I mean, first thing you look for is screenshots. Do those icons look good? And then second, how many icons does it support? And I believe this one actually supports 320 or more. So that's definitely a huge plus. So you can see that this just looks really nice. It also comes with a lot of wallpapers, which actually aren't optimized for the iPhone 6 Plus. But you can see right here, this is one of the wallpapers that come with it, and it looks Basically, I mean, it looks just fine. So not something to really worry about right there if you're on the 6 Plus. Otherwise, it's the right resolution for you guys. So I believe this theme was actually released yesterday, and I've been using it since then. So it's probably going to be something you're going to be seeing in future videos as well. I really like this theme. So if you're looking for something new, uh, trying to freshen up your springboard, then definitely check out Amory. Next up, we have a tweet called Camrix. Now, what Camrix does is basically give you just a little pop-up in the foreground of the camera so it's going to let you take pictures take videos right there in the foreground while you continue to multitask in the background so all you have to do is set an activator gesture for this tweak so if i just double tap on the status bar which is what i've set this to then you can see this is actually the camera so if i move this around you can see that that's my uh, iMac right there so it's basically giving you a camera right there in the foreground if you still wanted to you know mess with anything in the background then you can do so with the camera still activated right there so that's actually pretty cool now there are some other themes that you can uh, change this to or, th or shapes that you can change this to so if we go ahead and drag that down to the little X then it's going to dismiss it so let's tap on camera right here and you can see that you have a how to use you have an enable switch activation methods also, you can change the default camera from the rear camera to the front facing camera, just depending on what you want to do if you're really into selfies. Now, you'll notice that we have a ton of options right here. The only thing that I'm going to really hit on, I mean, you guys can pause it and look at this. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory what this does. Uh, the only thing I want to touch on is the shapes that you can change this to. So right down here, we have the appearance. So we can also change this to a circle, which actually looks pretty nice. So let's go ahead and check that out. So if we double tap on the status bar, you have the circle as well, as you can see right there. And then if you want to actually change over to the front facing camera, then you would just tap just like that. And you can see my fan right there. So we'll tap again and go back to the rear facing camera. So we can go back over here one more time. And you also just have a rounded rectangular shape right there. So if you want to change the size as well, we'll change it to large and we'll go back here and we'll double tap. And you can see that it actually gets quite a bit larger. So let's drag this back down and close that out. But definitely a really cool tweak if you're looking for something that's kind of like this. I can't really think of a whole lot of use cases for it. But if you've ever been looking for anything like this, then definitely check out Camrix. Next up, we have a tweak called Circulate. Now, what Circulate is going to do is allow you to independently theme your clock icon. So you can see my clock icon right here, and it actually looks pretty... Uh, crazy at the moment just because I was kind of messing with it but you'll notice the very inner circle right here is actually ticking up every single second so the very inner circle is the seconds the one right outside of that is the minutes and the one outside of that is the hour so it's really hard to tell you probably wouldn't be able to tell what time it is just based off of uh, these little circles right here but it basically is saying 450 so really how you set this up you just go into your settings here and then if we go down here to circulate open that up obviously enable it you can change it to a 24-hour clock if you'd like to you also have these themes right here which is what I want to touch on so here we have the rising bars which is actually pretty cool so if we go back here no respring required you can see that we've changed what this looks like so right over here on the right we have the seconds going up then we have minutes then we have hours and then going back here, let's go to solar just to show you what that looks like. You can see this one's probably one of my favorites. I like this one the most. Of course, these all these colors are changeable. This is all customized to what I did. I don't think it really looks that good uh, in terms of the color scheme that I used just because I was kind of messing around. But you can actually make these look really nice. And let's go back here one more time. We're going to check out hex, which is basically just a digital clock. Doesn't look really cool. Not one that I'd use. I'd probably go with the solar if I had uh, to choose between these. Now, of course, once you set that up, you can actually change up the colors 
uh, for the seconds, for the circle uh, radius, you can do this for minutes and hours. And depending on what theme you choose, it actually changes the options that you have right here uh, for the uh, seconds and hours and everything. So if we tap on this, you can see you get a lot more options uh, with the concentric circles. But I'm gonna stick with the solar. And then you can also see that you have a little more options right down here. Just tap save, or you can reset to default right there. Definitely a nice little tweak for your clock icon. Next up, we have a tweak called Panic Lock Pro. Now what Panic Lock Pro does is allow you to quickly and easily lock down your device. So let's say that somebody's about to take your phone or for whatever reason you need to lock it down before you put it down. Maybe you're going to the bathroom and your girlfriend or boyfriend is gonna you know, grab your phone and try to get into your personal or private things. Well, all you need to do is download Panic Lock Pro and you can easily lock down your phone with a simple activator gesture. So what I've done is uh, set this up to where all I have to do is swipe up on an icon. It's going to automatically lock down uh, specific applications that I set it to. Now there is a free version of this tweak so you can download that if you want to. The only difference between the paid and the free version is the free version locks down everything and the pro version allows you to lock down specific applications. So you can see right here if I go ahead and open up Instagram it's gonna work just fine. Now if I swipe up on an icon that activated Panic Lock Pro. So now I'm not gonna be able to open up Instagram because I set it to where I can't open up Instagram if I activate Panic Lock Pro. I also can't activate or open up uh, Alien Blue right here. I believe I can't even open up Hero Academy, yeah. So some of the other applications are still gonna work just fine. So if I tap on settings, then that opens up just fine. It just depends on what settings uh, you set this to. So right here, if we just quickly go down here to Panic Lock Pro, you can see that all you have to do is set an activator gesture, and then right here you have your protected app. So you can see Alien Blue, which I already uh, mentioned. We also have the clock, which I can't get into, and Instagram, Hero Academy. You can see those right there. So just toggle on the ones that you want to lock down, and that's all that it does. So a very nice tweak to uh, deactivate it. All you have to do is just do the activator gesture again, and then you can see that we can jump right back in to the Instagram. Every time that I open up Instagram, Suicide Girls is right there at the top. So just... <laughs> deal with that. And next we have a free tweak called movable. Now what movable is going to allow you to do is change up the order of the indicators in your status bar. So you can see that we have, you know, the Wi-Fi, we have the carrier, we have the carrier signal, we have the clock, all that good stuff right up there. Now if we go into movable, we'll go right down here and open that up. You can see obviously you need to enable it. And then right here you have show lock screen time, which I'm not 100% sure why that's a setting for this. You can do that if you want to. Uh, maybe if you don't have the time on your lock screen already, it just basically puts it up there in the status bar. And you also have sort order, which is the meat and potatoes of this tweet. So here are all of your indicators right here. You can see you can scroll through all of these. And then all you have to do is just drag it to a specific portion of your status bar. So you have the center of your status bar, the right of your status bar, or you can actually just hide it. So let's just say that we have uh, the carrier right here. All you have to do is bring this up to hidden and it's gonna automatically go away. It's as simple as that. I mean, no respring required, just drag it up, move it around, or it's gone. And maybe you wanna change the clock locations or the time location. So let's just change this over to the, change it over to the right, so you can see that the, the time actually moved over to the right, and then we have our battery right there. Now notice that if I do that, that the battery percentage actually goes away. So just keep that in mind if you actually do end up moving that clock over to the right. So, I mean, you guys can, I mean, get the gist of this tweak. I mean, basically you just dr drag anything that you want into whatever position that you want uh, and it's going to work just fine. I recommend giving it a shot just because this is a free tweak, so you're really not losing anything if you do try it out. And next up we have a theme called Yume. I believe that's how you pronounce it. You can pick this theme up for $1.49 in Cydia right now. It's a really cool theme. It has a very soft color palette as you can see right here. And uh, some of the colors even kind of blend in depending on what uh, wallpaper that you end up using uh, from this tweak, or I'm sorry, this theme. You'll even notice right down here that uh, Tweetbot actually blends in almost completely uh, with the dock right there. But nevertheless, this is a really cool theme. You'll also notice that we have some different indicators right up here at the top left-hand corner that look really nice, a whole lot better than the original just because it takes up a whole lot less space uh, for the carrier uh, signal right there. So it really just depends on uh, what you're looking for in a theme, what color scheme you're looking for, and if this is something that looks like it might be appealing, then definitely check it out. 
Next, we have a folder tweak called Folder IX. Now, what this tweak does is basically allow you to open up a folder and then go directly to your next folder without getting out of this folder. So you can see right here, if I just swipe on the name, then it's going to go to my next folder on my next uh, page. Of course, we can keep going, continue going, and it even loops back around to my first folder. So that's basically all that Folder IX does. There are some cosmetic things that you can do with this tweak. Uh, like change the color of the folder background, but I've come to the conclusion that it just doesn't work very well, at least not for me. Uh, you can change the color, but it's gonna leave a bar right down here at the very bottom, and it just doesn't look good. So that's just something to keep in mind if you plan on using that feature with this tweak. Now next up, we have a free tweak called Cheesecake. Now, this is a really simple tweak. It's very subtle, but it is pretty nice. I've actually been using this for the past couple of days. And what this does is basically give you the Android L sleep animation. So usually when you lock your device or put your device to sleep, you just hit the power button and it closes or it goes black. Now, what this does is actually add a little bit of an animation, which is very similar to the Android L animation. So you'll notice right here what it's going to do when I hit the power button is basically kind of zoom out and fade out at the exact same time. So it's really subtle, but again, I'll show you what this does. So we'll just hit the power button and you can kind of see how it does that. So let's go ahead and open this back up and give it one more go. So it's really subtle again, but I, I mean, you will notice it if you're looking for it, if you toggle it back on and forth. There are no settings for this. You can see right here, if we swipe down, that we have cheesecake and just a toggle. So if you want to turn it off, then just toggle it off. If you want to turn it back on, then of course you can toggle it back on just like that. So definitely worth checking out. It's a free tweak and it's just a little nice animation to change up what you already have. And next we have a tweak called Subtle Lock. Now Subtle Lock is a really nice tweak. It's been around since iOS 6 and has just been recently updated for iOS 8. Now the only bad thing about Subtle Lock is that all of the features aren't working uh, terribly well for iOS 8. So just keep that in mind. Uh, what this tweak does is basically give you a really nice and clean lock screen. So you can see right here, if we check out our lock screen that we have our time over here and our date right here as well as the slide to unlock. Now there's some other things you can do with subtle lock and I'll show you that here in just a second. But I also kind of want to mention some of the things that aren't working just so you guys know if you want to try this out or not or if you want to pay for this tweak. So we're going to swipe down here to subtle lock and we're going to open that up. Obviously you do need to enable this and then you have your clock settings, slider settings and miscellaneous. So to start out with we'll go with clock settings and you can change the style right here. So you can go default, subtle, dual clock or none. So if we change this up to dual clock and tap on that, then this is going to give you the ability to change time zones for two different locations. So let's just go ahead and uh, tap on some of these. We'll do Grand Turk, which I have no idea where it is, and then we'll do Phoenix. So we'll go back here, and what we need to do is if you make any changes like this, uh, then you need to respring your device just to make sure that it's going to work. Let's go ahead and go back, and we'll respring the device, and then once we come back, we should have a different looking lock screen. All right, so you can see right here that I just resprung and I had Grand Turk and Phoenix and actually what is showing is two Chicago times, which is absolutely not what I chose to see on my lock screen. So that's something to keep in mind. The dual clocks just doesn't work. Uh, what you want to use is just the standard uh, default subtle lock clock. So let's go back down here and open that up and we'll go to clock settings. You just want to use the subtle clock. Don't use the dual clock because it basically doesn't work. And then you can change up what you want to see right here. Now going back down, we also have some slider settings that you can change the slider position because it starts out really low. And if we tap reset, this one actually works. But you do want to keep this up quite a bit unless you want the slider all the way down. The next thing you can see right here that the custom slider text did not change even though I have it enabled and I've changed the slider text to I tweak. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. Uh, right here we also have hide slider. So if you want to do that, then you can hide slider. So for the third section right here, if we just tap on miscellaneous, you can see that you can hide the grabbers. So you can hide the notification grabber, the control center grabber, the camera grabber, which I've actually hidden, which is not hidden, so that doesn't actually work, as well as fade notification. So you can see right here that if I go back to my lock screen, you'll notice that we have the camera grabber right here. So that actually didn't work. So just something else to keep in mind if you end up downloading subtle lock. And next up we have a tweak called clean lock. Now what clean lock does is basically hide all of your notifications on your lock screen. So if you wanted to see what notifications you were receiving, then you would just need to tap on the right side of your screen and then it's going to do a little slide out right here and show you all the notifications that you have. Now to tell if you have a notification, you're going to see a little pulsating dot right there. So you can see that 
as I move the uh, the screen across a little bit, you can notice that little thing pulsating. So if I tap right here, we can actually go into these notifications and check them individually. So let's just say I wanted to check out uh, messages. You would notice that I got a text message about an hour ago and it's right there. So if I wanted to go back, maybe I wanted to close out and get back to the clean lock screen, then I would just tap close and it's gonna go back to the clean lock screen and still keep my notifications. Now if I wanna go back and go into you know one of these other ones, let's just say Snapchat. You can see that I got a Snapchat two hours ago and it's right there on the lock screen. So if I wanted to check it out, then I could just swipe across and open that up. So we'll just go ahead and close these out and you'll notice if we just swipe across and we go into the settings, there are a few things that you can check out in the settings panel for clean lock and I'll show you that right now. So let's go ahead and open that up. So really quickly, we have the enable switch right there as well as some options for your notifications like displayed, animated, you can change the color. You can disable specific applications to wake the screen for or keep notifications for specific applications or clear the badge for specific applications. And then right here is where you're gonna change up some of the drawer uh, options, obviously to display the icon, display the app name, display the badge, or you can even change the width of the drawer if you wanna do that. And then lastly, we have right down here just some extras that partially hides the grabbers. You can also prevent the notification center from clearing for specific applications as well. So that's just something that you can mess with on your own. I'm not gonna show you any of those features, just kinda quickly go over them so you guys have an idea of what this setting uh, panel actually entails. All right, guys, so that's the top 10 jailbreak tweaks and themes of the week. Let me know if you guys enjoy me, you know, throwing in a couple of themes in these videos as well. Just let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button because it really helps me out and lets me know that you like these types of videos. All right, guys, if you want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, till next time. Peace.